Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 25th of November, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of St. Catherine of Alexandria. St. Catherine of Alexandria lived around the 4th century. She was a virgin and martyr. She is usually numbered among the women martyrs. Catherine of Alexandria has a special place among the prophetic saints and her role is of a philosophical defender in the church. In the church art, Catherine of Alexandria is depicted wearing a crown, holding a book and stirring a spiked wheel. Let's see why all of these to her. She is seen wearing a crown because of her noble birth, royal birth. She is seen holding a book because she was known for her knowledge and she is also stirring a spiked wheel because that's how they wanted to kill her. According to tradition, Catherine was born in a noble family and was a learned girl. Converted by a vision of Our Lady, she protested against Maxentius, the emperor who was uh, undertaking a persecution of Christians at that time. So it was that around 50 scholars were called to come and have a debate with her. 50 scholars and this one single woman. She defeated all of them through her wisdom and knowledge. And this resulted that all the 50 scholars were burned alive and she herself was tied to a spiked wheel. So when the wheel would move, it would tear her apart. That, that's what the plan was. But miraculously it was said that that spiked wheel broke into two and she was unscattered miraculously. And that's how they again tried to kill her and this time they were successful in killing her by beheading. And that's how, dear brethren, it is said that uh, according to some traditions, in around 6, 880, her body was found on Mount Sinai because the angels have taken her body and kept it there. Catherine, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, today stands to us as a challenge to use our knowledge and wisdom to defend our faith. Many a times in our life, dear brethren, when we are questioned about faith, we say, we used to do, my daddy used to do, my mummy used to do, their parents used to do, therefore we do. Why do I kneel in the church? Why do I do whatever I do in the church? Because I was habituated. No, let us reason out. Let us give a reasonable answer to our faith so that when someone questions us, we will give answers and not excuses. We will not give them empty explanations or saying to them that this is how it is to be done. We do not know why but we are still doing. No! Everything that is done in the church, every, every aspect of our faith has a reasonable answer to it. Let's give it to people. Amen.